Hi, I'm Seth with Land House, and this is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate. A common question is, is it okay to have a drive pipe that is larger than the waste valve? In this video, we're going to find out. Let me show you my setup here. I have a five gallon bucket with three different outputs here, half inch, three quarter, and one inch. So I'm going to be setting up the water level to this point here on all three tests. First, I'm going to have the half inch drive pipe coming down 20 feet. Now, I didn't have the appropriate uh, one inch connector to uh, go to this pump, so I have to have a, a 90 degree in here. And so I'm going to do that to be consistent on all of these. Highly inefficient to do this, but it should provide the same results. So, makes a 90 degree here, comes into the pump, and then I have a, uh, a PSI gauge here to see what the PSI is. So in test one, we're gonna be using the half inch drive pipe and I wanna do two things. I want to get a cycle time for the valve and then I also want to get the PSI that is generated on this setup with approximately three feet of head pressure and about one foot of hydrostatic pressure inside the bucket. So let's go ahead and turn on the water. I want to have all tests from the same setup. Empty drive pipe. So we should be able... Oh. Alright. Now if I just begin cycling the pump here, we'll see how long it takes to get this thing going. Shouldn't be too long. Okay, what I'm gonna do is let this thing run the bucket empty and we'll see what the pressure is. And uh, maybe I can use my video here to see what the cycle time is. Definitely a strong, solid hit. You can see the drive pipe is bouncing here, which means it's losing some potential. About halfway done here. Okay, let's see. I think that's pretty much it. All right, I'll go ahead and close that off. Our pressure got up to 44 PSI. That's pretty awesome. Okay, the next step in this test, refill the bucket, move over to the three quarter inch drive pipe and see how the cycle time is and the pressure that is built with the drive pipe that is bigger than the waste valve. Time to check out whether or not the three quarter inch drive pipe is going to affect the half inch pump. Before we start this test, remember you can buy the Ram pump on landahouse.com or on Amazon. Link in the description down below. Okay, got everything set up. Now I do apologize. The reading before was actually 42 PSI on the half inch drive pipe. So let's go ahead and get this started and see what we get. That was quick. I think the water actually travels faster in the bigger pump here. What I'm expecting to see is a faster cycle time and lower PSI generated. Uh, I'm seeing there's bubbles coming up in the bucket, which means there is air in the drive pipe. I have to give that a second. That should do it. Now if the water column is too big, then the pressure wave isn't strong enough to basically leave this point. I'm hoping this test doesn't end here because I was really hoping to see what the one inch pipe would do. Been going for a bit here, and the cycle time is so small that it's not gonna start. Let me see if I can remove, whoop. See if I can remove this uh, 90 degree here and get it to start. 
I've removed the 90 degree. Let's go ahead and start this back up and see if we can get it to start. I'm kind of doubtful now. Now I get this air out of the driver's pipe. It's amazing how much air can be in one of these. Alright, just to see if we can get this to start, I'm going to add some more water. This might be a great time for you to uh, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. And also, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. The uh, water that I'm using here to fill the bucket actually comes from my own ram pump, which is way down in the creek, goes way up the hill behind the house to uh, some storage tanks. So uh, it's nice to have a way to test out ram pumps and not have to use my well water. So, even this little bit of increase here, from half inch to three quarter, is going to be too much. Now, I may be able to get this to work if I were to drop my bucket down about a foot and a half or two feet, but obviously, you're gonna to want to have more head pressure to lift higher. So, let's see, one last thing before we call this done. If I add about uh, 20 feet of half inch pipe at this point here, will it start? dirt clod most likely. So just as proof of concept, still have the three quarter inch line, cuts down to a half inch here and carries out the last 10 feet. Let's see what we can get here. It feels like the cycle wants to be a little bit slower here. Let's see if it actually will start though. I figured this video was going to be somewhat anticlimactic. Didn't know it was going to be this bad though. Just goes to show that if you increase the size of the drive pipe from half inch to three quarter on this setup here, the pump will not work. And that's because the cycle time of the waste valve is so quick trying to interact with that larger body of water that it um, just won't allow the check valve to open and close as it needs to. So if you are setting up your own ram pump, make sure to have a drive pipe that matches the waste valve size. So if you buy a pump from land to house and you get the three quarter inch, then uh, you'll have to match the three quarter inch drive pipe. Delivery pipe, doesn't matter. You can have whatever size you want. If you found this video fun and know somebody that needs a little help with this issue, uh, do remember to hit the thumbs up and share this video. Remember, you can buy these pumps on Amazon and landahouse.com and now on eBay. Links in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.